supportive options um, come from the multidisciplinary team. Um, so as I mentioned, standard of, key, uh, standard of care treatment is with the use of uh, steroids. Um, and with steroids, there is an increased risk of infection. So it's important that that child have a yearly flu shot and also um, stay up to date on uh, new, their pneumococcal vaccine. Um, but then thinking about the heart, um, the, the um, will need ongoing surveillance for cardiomyopathy. So the cardiologist's role is very important in performing echocardiograms and prescribing medications, which help to preserve the heart for longer. Um, then as the, that um, child becomes um, older and is having worsening functioning of the heart, then we will involve um, our heart function doctors who are typically a dark adult car cardiologist. Um, from a pulmonary standpoint, there's a lot that we can do. So um, uh, each child is given a, a cough assist with instructions of what is the um, respiratory plan going to be when they're sick. Um, we also teach them uh, with our respiratory therapist on how to do different techniques such as breath stacking. Um, and we monitor them closely and work closely with our sleep medicine colleagues um, to provide them um, sleep studies. And if they're under breathing or, or there is hypoventilation on the study, uh, then we can prescribe and um, titrate to BiPAP um, so that they can continue to get restful sleep. Um, so these are the, the primary players. Um, from an orthopedic standpoint, um, there, there can be progression of scoliosis as the child becomes, more, um, becomes weaker over time. Um, it's important to treat that scoliosis so that you can actually maximize the pulmonary status and also comfort with seating. Um, and um, there are a lot of uh, benefits from uh, these orthopedic um, interventions. Your physical therapist is going to start really early and um, trying to um, have that child be placed on a good uh, routine as far as their stretching um, and the use of night splints, which if you can start those routines early, then it's going to be um, easier to prevent contractures at the, um, at the ankles long term and which will result in prolonged ambulation as well. Um, later, uh, we're looking at different adaptive devices and the appropriate wheelchair for that child. Um, so it's an ongoing um, progression with the help of the therapist and the physiatrist to make sure that that patient is best supported. And as a result of all these best practices, um, there are a number of standard care, line, care guidelines that you can follow through. Um, the Lancet has uh, those published. Um, and we are definitely seeing a change in um, long, uh, longevity uh, and lifespan for these boys. Or maybe I should say men now. 